guys. I had a student ask me to do all um, the Alabama and Auburn logos. We're going to start with the Alabama logo today. You're going to need a sharpened pencil and a scrap of paper. Probably won't be perfect the first time, but you know that's how it goes. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. Okay, so for the Alabama logo, I'm going to start sketching lightly, and we're going to make this interesting, very interesting, um, kind of trapezoid shape. It's quadrilateral, I should say. I'm going to come down. And then this line at the bottom is going to be longer. I'm just lightly sketching. We're going to stay inside of this box while we're drawing. And then I'm going to do a line down here. So the Alabama A is um, a block letter, but it's got a lot of curves in it, lots of curves. So we're going to try and get that done today. At the top, it, it tilts a bit. So you're going to want to draw a diagonal line here. Then we're going to come down. And then inside of here, we're going to do a line that comes up. Just sketch that out. Doesn't have to be perfect this time around. Y'all know that. Then I'm going to come in and around. And I'm going to stop about right there. The next part of the A is going to come down. Just sketch it out. It seems so weird, right? And then I'm going to come down so you can start to see the A come together. It's going to come down, come down, come down, come around. This part's round. This part's going to keep on going all the way, and it's going to come back up and around. We're making it about as big as I have the example sitting here. All right, so now... Remember to keep sketching because you're going to have to go back and erase a little bit, okay? To make this a little bit easier while you're drawing it, I'm just going to sketch out the triangle shape that's in the middle. One side's curved. Just follow the lines. All right, so I've got that there. Let's keep on sketching. It'll start to come together. Now, where this line is is where another swoosh is coming through. So I'm going to come back through here. See if I overlapped it right here. Then it's going to keep going up a little bit. Then I'm going to come back down. It's pretty thick. Then I'm going to come inside here. We're going to draw a little line here because it's going to be a part of this. And I'm going to have this part come back up and meet at the point. Then we're going to draw this part. You're going to curve it in the same way that this is curved. So I'm going to come through here like so, like that, like so. Then we'll come back around here like that. And then we've got our Alabama A. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is go back. And if y'all have just a pencil eraser, that's fine. I'm going to use my bigger pencil eraser that's been sitting in a crown box, which is not good. And I'm going to get rid of all the pencil lines I don't need at this point. So if you have any accidents or mistakes that you can go back and erase, that's great. It just helps to draw the big shape first, which Alabama happens to be an unusual looking trapezoid or quadrilateral for all you mathy people out there. I'm going to get rid of any of these other little lines that I don't want. All right. Oh, you know what I want to get rid of? This line right here. I'm really looking at it. And that line over here. All right. Now we're talking. Kind of just want this and get rid of all those crumbs, eraser crumbs. So I'm going to show you the logo I was just looking at so that you kind of understand. So I don't know if you could tell, but I printed this off. It's one of their official logos. And then I saw that there was a trapezoid here, and I figured that would help you guys to shape out your letter A. Is this still in focus? Let's try. Hocus pocus. Now, I do not have a crimson marker here so i'm just going to use red to outline it some of you at home you'll want to outline with a sharpie as a matter of fact you know what let me just get a sharpie real quick <sighs> all right get a little sharpie here and i'm going to start rolling around on top of the lines i do like at this point i'm going to try to keep my sharpie real smooth and i could also go back and erase any of those problems that i've got like 
pencil sketches I don't like. Kind of messed up right there. So I'm just going to go around the edge. Now the Alabama A, sometimes when they are selling fan gear, they will have black on there. But normally it's just a crimson lettering. I think what's cool about both Alabama and Auburn, uh, like the Crimson Tide, that's the color, the kind of color red it is. And with Auburn, Auburn is a color, kind of a burnt orange color. And I absolutely love it. I graduated from Alabama, so that's why I'm starting with this. Now, if you'll see, it's kind of thin right here and it's bothering me, so I just made it a little bit thicker. So anything you need to do to make yourself happy, that's great. After I've outlined a Sharpie, then I can just blast through here and get rid of any pencil lines I don't like at all. And the more you practice this, the more you won't need to use the trapezoid behind there or the quadrilateral shape. Okay, so I'm just going to fill this in. And I'm going to have this beautiful Alabama logo. I think a Sharpie would look really good. Got some crimson paint, but I don't know that I've ever had a crimson marker. Wait, I say that. I have some really cool Japanese markers at home. There might be crimson there. Just use, I don't use crimson very often in my drawings. Should we come in handy today? I'm just sticking with good old red today. And I know a lot of y'all are going to be waiting for that Auburn video to come out. All right. Almost done with the Alabama Crimson Tide logo. Awesome. If you guys complete a logo and you want to share it with me and... If you share it with me, then I can share it with class. Or you could take your own picture and share it with anybody. There's the Alabama A logo. Thanks for requesting it. Talk to you all later. Bye.